The town of Bellington was quaint, isolated from the bustling world by dense woods. At its edge stood the imposing Bellington Manor, abandoned for decades but never forgotten. The grand mansion, once radiant, now stood derelict, its windows like hollow eyes. Rumours swirled about the manor. Townsfolk spoke of faint whispers, silhouettes in windows and lights flickering mysteriously at night. Yet none dared approach it, for the tales told of the tragic end of its last inhabitants. Jonathan, a journalist hungry for a story that would establish his name, arrived in Bellington. He was determined to spend a night at the manor, debunking myths and relaying the truth to the world. Armed with a flashlight and a camera, Jonathan entered the house as dusk settled. The grand chandelier in the foyer, covered in cobwebs, hinted at the manor's past glory. A cold draught sent shivers down his spine. As he ventured deeper, the manor seemed to come alive. Shadows danced, the floorboards creaked, and a faint whisper, almost like a lullaby, echoed through the hallways. In the grand ballroom, a chandelier swung gently, and for a moment, Jonathan could hear distant laughter and music, as if from a bygone era. He felt watched, though he was seemingly alone. He then stumbled upon a study, walls lined with portraits. One painting in particular drew him in, a young woman with piercing blue eyes. As he stared, he felt her gaze following him, her expression turning from sadness to warning. The grandfather clock in the corner struck midnight, and suddenly, everything went silent. The whispers ceased, and a thick fog enveloped the manor. Jonathan, though unnerved, continued his exploration. He found a locked door, and behind it, muffled cries for help. Determined, he broke it open to reveal a room untouched by time. Dolls sat around a tea table and a diary lay open. The last entry read, They're here. I must hide. If anyone finds this, know that the manor is cursed. Leave before they find you too. A gust of wind blew through, turning pages back, revealing detailed accounts of mysterious figures seen around the manor, each entry more panicked than the last. Suddenly the door slammed shut, trapping Jonathan. Desperate, he sought an escape, noticing a window leading to a balcony. The cries grew louder, urging him to flee. Once outside, Jonathan saw figures moving inside the manor, shadows darting from one window to another. He needed to leave, but was drawn towards a light coming from a garden shed. Inside, he discovered old newspapers detailing the disappearance of the Bellington family. The reports were contradictory, some mentioning a robbery, others hinting at something more sinister. As he pieced together the story, he realized the whispers were warnings. The manor was reliving its tragic past and he was now a part of it. A sudden movement caught his eye. The figure of the young woman from the portrait stood by the manor's entrance, beckoning him. Drawn to her, Jonathan approached. She whispered, save us, before vanishing, leaving behind a key. The key unlocked a cellar where Jonathan found remnants of the Bellington family's last days, belongings hastily packed, symbols etched on walls, and a final note revealing a hidden treasure within the manor. Realizing that the treasure might have led to the family's tragic end, Jonathan decided to find and return it to its rightful place, hoping to put the spirits to rest. Following clues from the note, he uncovered an ornate chest beneath the grand staircase, but as he touched it, the manor trembled, and shadowy figures surrounded him. Jonathan felt the weight of the manor's tragic past bearing down on him, but he remembered the young woman's plea and, with newfound resolve, placed the treasure back into the chest. The shadows began to dissipate, transforming into the figures of the Bellington family. They nodded in gratitude, their expressions finally at peace. As dawn broke, the manor, though still abandoned, felt different. The eerie presence had lifted, replaced with a calm stillness. Jonathan left Bellington Manor, carrying with him a tale of mystery, tragedy and redemption. Though he had sought fame, he left with a deeper understanding of history and its lingering echoes.